Good morning, David Atkins here. Me and my walker. Thank God for walkers, though. Today I'm talking about remote neural monitoring. And I'm going to start out with Robert C. Gunn of the, in, in, uh, the NSA and the stuff he's been up to. Um, other than that, this is for entertainment purposes only. So sit back and enjoy. Even though this is nothing to enjoy, really. This is facts that's going on in America and everywhere in, in the whole earth. So sit back and listen to the horrors that is doing being done with remote neural monitoring. <clears throat> Robert C. Gunn is involved in covert psychological warfare against innocent Americans and other global citizens. He's among developers of psychotronic attacks, which is a highly advanced, surreal form of mind control that is intended to induce suicide among its thousands of targets. This mind control technology is known as remote neural monitoring. The technology employs satellite delivered extremely low frequencies to communicate voice to skull transmissions. This produces schizophrenic symptoms, electro ELF. When I say ELF, I mean extra low frequencies. Radio signals are used to communicate with naval submarines deep down below the surf ocean surface. These frequencies can pinpoint a target anywhere on earth and can penetrate water, rock, concrete, or other dense matter. Consider this. The brain is composed of neurons and wires and is powered by low electrical currents. Much like insects communicate with non-contact antenna, humans can communicate with radio transceivers. Just like each of us has a unique genetic code, each of us has our own distinct radio frequencies. Find the frequencies and a terror technician can communicate directly to the brain. Gunn is part of the developmental development team that created a protocol of torturing victims. For decades, Gunn worked as a clinical psychologist at the Ann Arbor Veterans Affairs Hospital. There, Gunn deprogrammed World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam War prisoners of war. Gunn learned, Gunn learned the secrets of mind control torture techniques by deprogramming these POWs, or prisoners of war. Then in the 1980s, Gunn was recruited to work on the Strategic Defensive Initiative, commonly known as the Star Wars program. He had already been involved in land-based mind, land mind control experiments involving mobile microwave triangular transmissions. Gunn and the staff of technicians would isolate a victim and beam radio signals into the victim's home. Now, unbelievably, these attacks are delivered via satellite. In addition to mind control, torture, gun, and others develop a methodology to promote, pr to produce remote delivered body shocks to the groin and elsewhere. The third component, uh, component of this torture involves holographic projections and audible acoustic projections. The, finally, the fourth component of this electronic harassment involves gang stalking. This involves actual incidents of community operative stalking and spying on neighbors. Sometimes the gang stalkers are paid. Operatives that are equipped with electronic eavesdropping devices, infrared detectors, x-ray viewers, and direct energy weapons that fire off high-energy microwave pulses. Gun is involved with a covert unit of national security agents. The unit operates like a Nazi Gestapo agents without regard for human or constitutional rights. The first support of these attacks surfaced throughout Michigan and Canadian border communities. Michigan is the only state in the nation to enact legislation outlawing this type of electronic harassment, which lends credibility to the fact that these covert operations exist. <clears throat> the Michigan-based Amway Foundation is among many right-wing organizations that help fund quasi-governmental domestic torture groups. The founders of Amway are the largest contributors to the Bush family so-called New World Order, which is high-tech offspring of the Michigan militia. Amway is notorious for gang stalking people who seek to escape the pyramid structure subculture. The targets of these attacks are often estranged domestic partners, <clears throat> Jews, blacks, women, disabled people, whistleblower people seeking criminal and civil justice, people seeking revenge, local degenerates who are addicted to drugs and alcohol. Gunn and his wife, Leah, the co-chair of the Washington County Commission, are involved in local homeless shelter projects. Gunn has conducted psychological interviews of numerous homeless people and then used the information in his subject experiments. Remember, this is entertainment purposes only. 
Robert Gunn is an undetectable human rights violator. Google the following combined terms, remote neural monitoring plus NSA plus lawsuit. Also research gang stalking, MK Ultra, mind control. Thank you for your interest and concern. Now I'm going to get into remote neural monitoring. Remote neural monitoring is a form of functional neuroimaging claimed to have been developed by the NSA that is capable of extracting EEG data from the human brain at a distance with no contacts or electrodes required. It is further claimed that the NSA has the capability to decode this data to extract sub-vocalizations, visual and auditory data. In effect, it allows access to a person's thought without their knowledge or permission. It has been alleged that various organizations have been using remote neural monitoring on U.S. citizens and other countries' surveillance and harassment purposes. EEG can mean electrophalonography, the method and science of recording and interpreted traces of brain electrical activity as recorded from the skull surface or the device used to record such traces. Emperor Entertainment Group, a Hong, a Hong Kong entertainment company. The human brain in animals, the brain in, is the control center of the central nervous system responsible for behavior. The history on remote neural monitoring. Remote neural monitoring had its roots in the infamous MK Ultra project of the 1950s, which although focused on drugs for mind control, also induced neurological research into radiation ionizing EMF and bioelectric research and development. The earliest non-classified references to this type of technology appear in 1976 patent by R.G. Malak. Patent number 3951134, apparatus and method for remotely monitoring alter brain, altering brain waves. U, USPTO granted 420, 1976. The patent describes a technique using the transmission of 100 and 210 megahertz signals to the brain, yielding a 110 megahertz signal, which is modulated by the brain waves and can be detected by a receiver for further processing. Wikipedia does not have an article with this name. In the early 1980s, it is claimed the NSA began extensive use of remote neural monitoring. Much of what is known about it stems from evidence presented as part of a 1992 court case brought by former NSA employee John St. Clair, Aque, A-K-W-E-I, against the NSA. It describes an extensive array of advanced technology and resources dedically, dedicated to remote, remote, remotely monitoring hundreds of thousands of people in the U.S. and abroad. Capabilities include access to an individual sub-vocalizations as well as images from the visual cortex and sounds from the auditory cortex. <clears throat> you can see also NSA warrantless surveillance controversy, NSA electronic surveillance program. <clears throat> it says the NSA's missions and domestic intelligence operations, communications, intelligence, blanket coverage of all electronic communications in the U.S. and the world to ensure national security, supposedly. Signals Intelligence. The Signals Intelligence mission of the NSA has evolved into a program of decoding EMF waves in the environment for wireless tapping in computers and tracking purpose persons with electrical currents in their bodies. Signals Intelligence is based on the fact that everything in the environment with electrical current has a magnetic field around which it gives off EMF waves. The NSA has developed propriety advanced digital equipment which can remotely analyze all objects or organic that have electrical activity. Domestic intelligence. The NSA has records on all U.S. citizens. The NSA gathers information on U.S. citizens who might be interested of all, any of over the 50,000 agents. These agents are authorized by the executive order to spy on anyone. The NSA has a permanent national security anti-terror surveillance network in place. Their surveillance network is completely disguised and hidden from the public. Tracking individuals in the U.S. is easy and can effectively and can effectively implemented with the NSA's electronic surveillance network. This network, D-O-M-I-N-T, covers the entire U.S. and involves thousands of NSA personnel and tracks millions of purpose persons simultaneously. Cost-effective implant, implantation 
of operations is achieved by NSA computer technology designed to minimize operation costs. The NSA personnel serve in quasi-public positions in their communities and run cover businesses and legitimate businesses that can inform the intelligent community of persons they would want to track. NSA personnel in the community use ha usually have cover identities such as social workers, lawyers, and business owners. Individual citizens occasionally targeted for surveillance by an independently operating personnel. NSA personnel can control the lives of thousands of individuals um, in the U.S. by using NSA's domestic intelligence network and cover business. The operations independently run by them can sometimes go beyond bounds of the law. Long-term long control and sabotage of tens of thousands of unwilling citizens by NSA operatives is likely to happen. NSA DOMINT, D-O-M-I-N-T, has the ability okay, to call subjects to be diagnosed with mental health. Ill, with ill mental health, NSA Domestic Electronic Surveillance Network. As of the 1960s, the most advanced computers, hold on, let me see. Yeah, as of the 1960s, the most advanced computers in the world were NSA, Fort Meade. Research breakthroughs with these computers were kept for the NSA. At the present time, the NSA has advanced technology computers that are 15 years ahead of present ahead of present computer technology. The NSA obtains blanket coverage of information in the U.S. by using advanced computers that use artificial intelligence to screen all communications regardless of medium for keywords to be brought to the attention of the NSA cryptologists. These computers monitor all communications at the transmitting and receiving ends. This blanket coverage of the U.S. is a result of the NSA Signals Intelligent Mission, or SIGNET, or C. S-I-G-I-N-T, if you want to look it up. The NSA's Electronic Surveillance Next work is based on a cellular agreement of devices that can monitor the entire EMF spectrum. This equipment was developed and implemented and kept secret in the same manner as other electronic warfare programs. Signals Intelligent Remote Computer Tampering. The NSA keeps track of all computers and other computers sold in the U.S. This is an integral part of the Domestic Intelligent Network. The NSF, NSA e, EMF equipment can tune in RF emissions from personal computers, circuit boards, while filtering out emissions from monitors and power supplies. The RF emission from computer circuit boards contains digital information on the PC. Coded RF waves from the NSA equipment can resonate PC circuits and change data in the PCs. The NSA can gain wireless modem entry into any computer in the country for surveillance or anti and terrorist electronic warfare. Detecting EMF fields in humans for surveillance. A subject's bioelectric field can be remotely detected, so subjects can be monitored anywhere they are. With special EMF equipment, NSA crypto cryptologists can remotely read evoked potentials from EEGs. These can be de decoded into a person's brain states and thoughts. The subject is then perfectly monitored from a distance. NSA personnel can dial up any individual in the country on the signals. Intelligence EMF scanning network and NSA computers will then pinpoint and track that person 24 hours a day. The NSA can pick out and track anyone in the U.S. NSA signals of intelligence use of brain stimulation. NSA signals use in EMF brain stimulation for remote neural monitoring and electronic brain link. EMB brain stimulation has been in development since MK Ultra program of the early 1950s, which included neuro neurological research into the radiation monitoring, uh, monitoring and electric brain link. Brain stimulation are the result secret technology is categorized at the National Security Archives as radiation intelligence, defined as information <clears throat> from unintentionally emanated electromagnetic waves in environment, not including radioactive or nuclear detonation. Signals Intelligent implemented and kept this technology secret in the same manner as other electronic warfare programs of the government. The NSA monitors available information about this technology and withholds scientific research from the public. There are also in international intelligence agreements to keep this technology secret. The NSA has proprietary electronic equipment that analyzes electroactivity in the humans from a distance. NSA computer-generated brain mapping can continuously monitor all, of electro, all electrical activity in the brain continuously. 
The NSA records and decodes in individual brain maps of hundreds of thousands of people for national security purposes. EMF brain stimulation is also secretly used by the military to bring computer for computer links. For electronic surveillance purposes, electrical activity in a speech center of the brain can be translated into the subject's verbal thoughts. A remote neural monitor can send encoded signals to the brain's auditory cortex, thus allowing audio communications direct to the brain, bypassing the ears. NSA officers, operatives can use this to covertly debilitate subjects by simulating auditory hallucinations, characteristics of paranoid schizophrenia. Without any contact with the subject, remote neural monitoring can map out electrical activity from the visual cortex of a subject's vein, brain and show images from the subject's brain on a video monitor. NSA operatives see what the surveillance subject's eyes are seeing. Visual memory can also be seen. Remote neural monitoring can send images directly to the visual cortex by bypassing the eyes and optic nerves. NSA opter, operatives can use this to surreptitiously put images in a surveillance subject's brain while they are in REM sleep for brain programming purposes. Capabilities of NSA operatives using remote neural monitoring. There's been a sign signals intelligent network in the U.S. since the 1940s. The NSA has a place a two-way wireless remote neural monitor system which is used to track subjects and non-invasive monitor audio-visual information in their brain. This is all done with no physical contact with the subjects. Remote neural monitoring is the ultimate method of surveillance and domestic intelligence. Speech in 3D sound and sublim subliminal audio can be sent to the auditory cortex of the subject's brain. Neuronal, the, in a, the, in neuronal activity in the brain creates a shifting electronic electrical pattern that has shifting magnetic flux. The magnetic flux put out a constant 30 to 50 hertz mega 5 milliwatt electromagnetic wave contained in the electromagnetic emission from the brain are patterns called evoked potentials. Every thought, reaction, motor command, auditory event, and visual image in the brain has a corresponding evoked potential or net of evoked potentials. The EMF emission from the brain can be decoded into current thoughts, images, and sounds in the subject's brain. NIA, NSA uses EMF transmitted brain stimulators as communication system to transmit information as well as nervous system messages to intelligent agents and also to transmit brain to the brains of covert operation subjects for a non-perceptible level. EMF brain stimulation works by sending a completely coded and pulsed electromagnetic signal to trigger evoked potentials or events in the brain, thereby forming sound and visual images in the brain neural circuits. EMF brain stimulation can also change a person's brain states and affect motor control. Two-way electronic brain link is done by remote neural monitoring. Audio-visual information while transmitting sound to auditory context, bypassing ears and transmitting faint images to the visual cortex. These images appear as floating 2D screens in the brain. Two-way electronic brain link has become the ultimate communication system for CIA NSA personnel. Remote neural monitoring, remote neural monitoring bioelectric information in the human brain has become the ultimate surveillance system. It is used by a limited number of agents in the U.S. intelligent community. Our remote neural monitoring requires decoding the resonant frequency of each specific brain area. The frequency is then modulated in order to impose information in that specific brain area. The frequency to which various brain areas respond from 3 hertz to 50 hertz. Only NSA signals intelligence modulates signals in this frequency band. An example of an example of brain stimulation in the brain area, the motor control cortex, auditory cortex, visual cortex, somasensory cortex, thought center, bioelectric chief frequency. They can track you anywhere you go. There's no implants. There's no nothing. By brain waves. So listen, keep 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 listening. Information induced through modulation, motor impulse coordination, sound which bypasses the ears, image that bypasses the br brain bypasses the eyes, phantom touch sense, imposed subconscious thoughts. The modulated information can be put into the brain at very in varying intensities from subliminal to perceptible. 
Each person's brain has a unique set of bioelectrical resonance entrainment frequencies. Sending audio information to a person's brain at the frequency of another person's audio cortex would result in that audio information not being perceived. They learned that remote neural monitoring by being in a two-way remote neural monitoring contact with the Kiancom group at the NSA Fort Meade, they used RMN 3D sounds to direct to the brain to the harass some the plaintiff, which is this, and they, anyway. So remote monitoring, tracking of individuals in any location, inside any building, continuously anywhere in the country. NSA remote and neural monitoring equipment remotely reads the evoked potentials of the human brain for tracking individuals and can send mental images to the nervous system to affect their performance. Now, I'm, <laughs> so anyway, I'm done for today. You know, that that's just more. I'm going to go into a part two on this. But yeah, listen, remote neural monitoring, they do not need implants. And I'm not saying it's the NSA, but if the NSA has it, you know, any corrupt person can have that technology. So, you know, don't quote me as saying the NSA done it because I don't know if it's the NSA or not, but I know the technology's out there and people are using the technology on us targeted individuals every day. So anyway, spread the word, uh, get the word out there. I know, I already know that y'all know this exists. I was just trying to give an example of how deep it is. Y'all have a good day.